Today the topic is How many times the word Imam comes in the Quran? The first surah which I took is from Surah Al-Baqarah Which, which is, is chapter 2, ayah number 124 which says And when his Lord tried Ibrahim with certain words, he fulfilled them. He said, Surely I will make you an Imam of men. Ibrahim said, And of my offspring, my covenant does not include the unjust, said he. The word Imam has been translated over here as Peshwa. Or Jab Parvardigar ne chand baato mein Ibrahim ki azmaish ki, to in mein pure utre, khuda ne kaha, mein tumko logo ka peshwa banao ga. Unho ne kaha ki Parvardigar, meri aulad mein se bhi peshwa banayo. Khuda ne farmaya ki humara ikrar zalimo ke liye nahi hua karta. This verse guides mankind to identify the genuine leaders of the true faith as well as the imposters. It also helps to understand Risalat and Imamat. The second uh, uh, the ayat is from Surah al anbiya which, which is chapter 21, ayah number 73, which says, And we made them imams who guided people by our command, and we revealed to them the doing of good, and the keeping up of prayer, and the giving of alms, and us alone did they serve. اور ان کو پیشوا بنایا کہ ہمارے حکم سے ہدایت کرتے تھے اور ان کو نیک کام کرنے اور نماز پڑھنے اور زکاة دینے کا حکم بھیجا اور وہ ہماری عبادت کیا کرتے تھے The third uh, surah is Al-Sajda which is chapter 32 ayah number 24 and it says And we made all them imams to guide by our command when they were patient and they were certain of our communication عوضو باللہ میں نے شیطوان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اور ان میں سے ہم نے پیشوا بنائے تھے جو ہمارے حکم سے ہدایت کیا کرتے تھے جب وہ صبر کرتے تھے اور وہ ہماری آیتوں پر یقین رکھتے تھے The 12 Imams of the Ahlul Bayt are the divinely commissioned leaders to guide mankind and they are the custodians of the final word of Allah and with whom the Holy Prophet ﷺ left the Qur'an so that its meanings and application may not be corrupted by the hypocrites. The Imams mentioned in Surah Sajda, Ayah number 24, like the Prophets, are not separable from the scripture. As declared by the Holy Prophet Muhammad ﷺ in Hadith, Al-Taqilan, they are his Alil Bayt. The Holy Prophet Muhammad ﷺ said, Whosoever dies without recognizing the Imam of his age, dies the death of a pagan. And a pagan is a kafir. This verse says that all human beings in groups shall be called with their respective imams. The identity of the true imams will be their inseparability with the scripture and the holy prophets. They will lead to eternal salvation. This is the verse from Bani Israel, which is chapter 17, ayah number 71, which says, Remember the day when we will call every people with their imam. Then whoever is given his book in his right hand, these shall read their book, and they shall not be de dealt with unjustly. The book mentioned here is the record of deeds every individual will carry with him or her on the day of judgment. It will be visible to all. All human beings will appear with the guides, imams they followed in their lives in the world to guide account of their deeds and faith. Blessed are they who follow the true guides, imams of the Ahl al -Bayt, chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and appointed by Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Verily, I am the imam among you. After me, Imam Ali alayhi salam will be your imam. After him, his sons in his progeny will be your imams. Whosoever remains attached with them shall be saved and shall obtain salvation. Those who disassociate themselves from them shall go astray and will certainly be lost. This is uh, Surah al yasin which is chapter 36, ayah number 12, which says, Surely we give life to the dead, and we write down what they have sent before and their footprints, and we have recorded everything in a clear writing. عوض باللہ من الشیط وان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بے شک ہم مردوں کو زندہ کریں گے اور جو کچھ وہ آگے بھیج چکے اور جو ان کے نشان پیچھے رہ گئے ہم ان کو قلم بند کر لیتے ہیں اور ہر چیز کو ہم نے کتاب روشن یعنی لوہ محفوظ میں لکھ رکھا ہے On the day of judgment, every individual, man or woman, 
will be brought to account for his or her deeds and actions. Imam Muhammad al-Baqir said that when this verse was revealed, which is Ayah al-Yasin, Abu Bakr and Umar asked the Holy Prophet, Is Imam al-Mubin the Torah given to Musa? The answer was no. Again they asked, Is it Injil given to Isa? The answer was no. Then they asked, Is it the Holy Quran? No was the answer. Then turning towards Ali, Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib salam, the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Verily, this is the Imam in whom Allah has deposited the knowledge of everything. Then addressing the people uh, present there, the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O oh people, there is no branch of knowledge Allah did not teach me and I have not conveyed it to Ali. Verily, Allah has given me wisdom and I have given it to Imam Ali alayhi salam. I am the city of knowledge and Ali is its gate. This is al qasas which is chapter 28, ayah number 41, which says, And we made them imams who call to the fire, and on the day of resurrection they shall not be assisted. Auzu billahi minna shaitwan rajeem, bismillahi rahman rahim, aur humne unko peshwa banaya tha, wo logo ko dozakh ki taraf bulate the, aur qiyamat ke dir unki madad nahi ki jayegi. Nowhere in the Quran or in the traditions it is stated that they may also lead their followers to hell. But it is said that there are two types of Imams. We appointed Imams from among them to guide mankind by our command. Uh, that is Al-Sajda, verse 24. And we made them Imams who invite to the fire. That is Al-Qasas, verse 41. Those who opposed these Imams in their lifetime and installed themselves as the leaders or rulers without any divine authority shall be the leaders mentioned in Qasas 41 who will lead their followers to hell because they oppose the book, the Holy Prophet وسلم, and Allah. On the day of resurrection, the people will be divided in the following groups. Group 1. Those who are most excellent and nearest to Allah. Ashabul Maimana, the followers of the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and the Imams of his al the most excellent and the nearest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Group 3. Ashabul Mesh'ama. The opponents of the first and second group. These are the few ayats uh, in which the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Imams will give shahada to their ummah. Which is evidence. Which is basically the evidence. Please refer to these ayats. These are only for the shahada. Uh, this is not for the imamat. That is uh, chapter 2 verse 143. Chapter, chapter 4, 4 verse, verse 41, 4. chapter 11, verse 18, and chapter 11, verse 98. And there are separate ayats which says about Khilafat or Khalifa. Please visit kanizeraza.weebly.com for more information.